The Dixie Mafia is part of coast history, tangled with crime and corruption, money and murder. In its web, two sisters who as children saw criminals as friends until reality could no longer be ignored. On Sunday, Heather Eason and Amy Gilmer opened up about one of the most infamous times in coast history, and Mike Lacey joins us with how it shaped their lives. The sisters are the daughters of Lorray Sharp, who was on the fringe of a Dixie Mafia scam that eventually led to the murders of Vincent and Margaret Sherry. They look at their childhood and picture a jigsaw puzzle. Their challenge now is to figure out how all the pieces of that puzzle fit together. It's a process that may take a while, but they are walking the path together. When you're 16 and your mother goes to prison, in a way, your childhood ends. There was a lot of really, really hard and difficult things that happened to myself and my sister in a lot of different ways simply by being LaRae's daughter. LaRae Sharp went to federal prison twice and once in Louisiana for her role in the scam that led to the 1987 murders of Judge Vincent Sherry and his wife Margaret in Biloxi. The scam was tied to the Dixie Mafia and its cast of criminals. As a way to process this, sisters Heather Eason and Amy Gilmer are collaborating on a project of video blogs and podcasts for a website and eventually a book. I'm finding that in their research that it's it does bring back certain things. Um, originally I had kind of done it for a timeline, but also what I'm recognizing is how bad it really was. Their lives are literally a storyboard on a wall. So this is where you get together and you do all of your research and you put your books together and you've got files. What is it that you're hoping to accomplish and what is it that you want to ultimately have as the product of this research? Well, I think that um, because there's just so much stuff that's happened during our lives and um, trying to put this together that it was important for us to have a space to kind of put those things together chronologically just because so things don't kind of meld together. That way we can create efficiently and effectively um, this project that we want to do. The project is not to relitigate their mother's history, it's to recover from it. For Gilmer, it's not about blaming her mother. I've never chosen a guilty or an innocent side, even wanted to know or hear the conversation out of her. I've never really needed that to know what I dealt with and how I lived and what I went through. In this WLOX interview in 1990, Sharp said this about her children. If something happens to me, I want my daughters to know that I was trying to do the right thing. It's very important to me um, that my daughters do the right thing, and I hope that they've learned by my mistakes. Has she apologized to you? She has. She's apologized for, um, you know, she's apologized for the things that we've went through. I don't know that she understands the depth of the things that, that we experienced. Have you forgiven her? Yeah, I, I feel like that I've forgiven her. Um, I, I, you know, they, like I said, it's been a long time ago and I think that she was probably trying to do, you know, make our lives better even though it happened the wrong way. Helping others, especially children, is the hope. I want to just show people that, you know, kids are resilient and they're strong and you, they can overcome, you know, the obstacles. And, you know, for me, we beat Biloxi's odds. Biloxi put these odds against us and, and we beat them. You know, I used to tell my students all the time, it's very easy to create a difficult life and it's very difficult to create an easy life. And I just knew what I wanted my life to look like and how I wanted it to be, so I just battled. I mean, and there was a lot of battles. It's, it's a battle to be poor. I think a lot of times we think that things are unachievable. And, but if you know somebody that has gone through a similar battle that you've gone through, they've experienced the same kind of thing, and they've made it out to the other side, I think it gives you hope. The website the sisters have started is called The People You Think You Know. LaRae Sharp, who was released from federal prison in 2002, now lives in Florida. She did not want to be interviewed for this report.